So how is a waterfall formed? Well, a waterfall is formed where a layer of more resistant rock overlays a layer of less resistant rock. Here we have a river body of water flowing downstream. And here we have a layer of more resistant rock. And below it, a layer of less resistant rock. As the river flows downstream, the hydraulic action of the river, the pressure and force exerted by the water on the riverbed, erodes the less resistant rock at a faster rate, thus forms, forming a step in the river. This step begins to grow as a result of two factors. The hydraulic action has now increased because as the water plunges over the step, it's exerting more pressure on the riverbed. This is coupled by the effect of abrasion too. Abrasion is a big factor in the erosion, as the load carried by the riverbed crashes into the bed, thus creating potholing effects, which eventually becomes a plunge pool, and thus a waterfall is formed. As the hydraulic action and the abrasion of the plunge pool increases, the riverbed is eroded further and it creates an undercut or an overhang of the waterfall. Because the more resistant rock is much denser and heavier, the notch collapses, falls in to the waterfall and is transported downstream and the waterfall moves upstream. This process is is continued again and again and this is how a waterfall is formed.